Welcome to an extremely interesting phase of my life. So I'm kind of, I've been thinking about stuff for the past few days within my relationships and ex-relationships and how times have changed. As some of you guys know, I got out of an engagement in April of this year and I left LA and left everything that I knew to start my life over. It's been kind of an interesting journey. And one thing I should say is sorry that my eyelashes look like literal shit. I took off my eyelashes today, my like extensions and stuck these ones on and they're just a giant disaster. So anyways, moving on. After my engagement, I did a lot of reflecting on my life and the types of relationships that I want. And I gave myself a time period to be single and to really understand and learn about myself. So I, I told myself I did not want to date until February. And that was after jumping into kind of and kind into a kind of like a rebound situation where I held on to whatever was close to me. So after my engagement, jumped into a rebound situation, um, and then we both realized, oh, this is not, a, you know, we don't even like each other like that. So got out of that and then gave myself this this kind of period to just reflect on myself, to learn about myself, to figure out what I want in myself and and all of that so some things that I did learn while some things that I'm learning while going through this period of my life is that I don't actually want a relationship at this point in my life and I do want to date which is interesting because that sounds like I want my cake and I want to eat it too. Is that like the saying? I don't know. Basically, I have been going on dates and I have been hanging out with people and I've been, because I've been going through this transitional stage of my life, I've been telling the people that I have been hanging out with, you know what? I don't want anything. I don't want anything serious. I want to be straight up with you right from the beginning, even though, you know, normally people don't really talk about like being serious right away. But I just want to make it very clear that like, I don't want a relationship. I don't want anything really. So I've been doing that. And along the way, I have encountered situations. Um, most recently, a situation where I was very clear about that and the person I was seeing, I guess, during that time started having feelings, which is totally normal and totally understandable when you're hanging out with somebody and kind of sharing a relationship type of connection with them. So because of that, I had to cut ties because I told myself and I know that that's not something that I want. It sounds like I, you know, this whole experience, I guess, has made me think about past situations where, especially guys, I feel like a lot of guys kind of do this where they don't want anything serious. They want to have fun. They want to do their thing. And girls always get like, their feelings hurt. And I feel like I'm that guy right now where I don't want a relationship. I don't want anything serious, but I do want to hang out with people. I do want to go on dates. I do want to have fun. And so I want both um, without actually being in a relationship. So I'm going to be a little jumbled and talk about something else really quick. Um, I do miss my ex. Um, and I think about him a lot. And I think about our relationship a lot and the things that I miss and the things that I don't miss. 
And one thing that just keeps coming back into my head and keeps replaying, and I think because I'm also in this stage of my life where I'm like, I want to have fun. I want to go on dates. I want to do this and that. It reminds me of some of the things that my ex has said in the past. One of them being, if I knew somebody had had sex with blank person, a certain person that we both knew, I would never be with that person because that's disgusting. And then proceeded to ask me if I had sex with that person. (laughs) And I, I, at the time, I didn't think much of it. I was just like, okay, like, no, like, moving on. But after, like, a few months and after thinking about all of the problems that we have had in the past, that comment just kept coming up into my head. And I started thinking, first off, that's none of your fucking business, like, who I have had sex with in the past that that I didn't even know you at the time you know what I mean like he was asking if I ever had in the past like before I even fucking met him so first off that's none of his goddamn business second off if you would say you wouldn't date someone because they had had sex with somebody else like you have such a big insecurity that that's just insane like It's not like he was saying, oh, because that person has AIDS and I wouldn't want AIDS. It was like, I just think that person's gross. Like, that's it. So, anybody who's had sex with them is disgusting. Oh my god. I, for some reason, this comment just irritates the shit out of me. Like, it fucking irritates me. And the fact that somebody would have the nerve to say that... To somebody else. Just brings back all these memories of all the things that he said to me. And I said in my breakup video, like, I don't have any hard feelings towards him. And the th- the reason why it didn't work out is because we're just different people. But it all boils down to, like, that. Not sex, but, like, the fact that you are so insecure about the fact that somebody is so the fact that he was so insecure about date like my past dating situation like it just I can't even like I can't even put into words how irritating it is because that was the only thing that was wrong with our relationship like my past dating history had affected his confidence, I guess. He thought I would be flirting with every single girl because I had been with girls in the past. So every single girl was, like, the end of the fucking world. I don't know, like, just... How could... I just don't understand. I just don't understand how somebody could be that insecure. And take it so far to call someone a slut, call someone a whore, a dirty whore, dirty slut, all these different words. When they hadn't done anything, they as in me, I hadn't done anything um, during the span of our relationship, hadn't done anything I don't know. Fuck. Okay. Anyway. So. Going back to where I'm at now. I think about that a lot. And it irritates me a lot. And it hurts me a lot. And I just feel sad about it, I guess. Um, Really hurts. But it's led me to where I am now where I just want to have fun and I just want to not have to listen to what anybody else says or care about what somebody else's thoughts are. I just, I'm at a place in my life where I don't want 
to deal with anybody else's emotions and drama and feelings of insecurities. And I realized that so many relationships are based on insecurities and I feel so, as much as I feel so upset about my past relationship, about how it ended and about the things that I'm mentioning now, I also feel so happy that I am the person that I am because I don't, I've never had those feelings or thoughts about somebody else or like if this person have had sex with this person, then they're fucking gross or like if you'd been with guys then I'm going to be insecure about every fucking guy you've ever been with or if you've been with girls I'm going to be so insecure about every single girl like I am not an insecure person and if you if I am in a relationship like and you choose to be with somebody else and that is totally on you and like that's fine and I should be happy that you made that decision for yourself and so I've always kind of been like that and I know one day I'll find somebody that's like that for myself but even now just thinking about being in a relationship is like why would I want to do that like that's how I think of relationships now because of my past relationship like why would I want to let somebody else have a say in my life like I don't want anyone to have a say of who I should or shouldn't hang out with when or or where I should be at certain times Um, what I'm going to have for fucking dinner tonight. Like, no, I want to make every single decision, decision, decision for myself. And that's kind of where I'm at in my life now. And I feel like grateful that I've got, I've gone through all these experiences in relationships and I've dated, um, around. (laughs) That sounds bad, but you know what? Fuck it. Like since I've dated around and, Now I know what makes me happy and what makes me happy is me. Like, I don't need anybody else to tell me what to do. I keep listening to this song called, um, You Don't Own Me. Um, I'm sure you've heard the song. It played in Sucker Punch, I think, and it also played in Suicide Squad. It also played in Suicide Squad, I think. And it's like, wait, you don't owe me. I'm not just one of your many toys. You don't owe me. Don't tell me I can't be with other boys. I don't fucking know. Anyway, that song, oh my God. I replay that song over and over again when I get in these moods and I'm like, You don't own me. Nobody owns me. I own myself and I'm the only person that can tell myself who I should hang out with, who I should have sex with, who, where I should go, what, where I should be, who I should hang out with, when I should hang out with them. Like, I feel grateful that I've finally found that in my life. And that I make myself happy and nobody else can tell me what to do. And I want to date around, but I don't want to date you. And that's where I'm at in my life. And and I think we're all like kind of... I think so many people are so focused on like relationships, relationships, relationships. And the truth is like you need you. You need to like focus on what you like and relationships end but you are forever you will be with yourself for as long as you live and so make yourself happy be happy with your your choices and don't let anyone tell you what you should and shouldn't do and who you should and shouldn't be with and where you should and shouldn't be like I don't know if that makes any sense but I feel so happy to be single now and I can't Like I said, I started, like, hanging out with some people, and it started feeling very relationship-y, and I decided, you know what? We gotta cut this off right here and right now because I ain't got the time. The person was like, oh, well, one of the people that I was seeing was like, well, and this gets a little personal, so if you guys, you know, don't like talking about sex or you feel like you shouldn't do it or whatever you feel... 
Um, I'm going to be, you know, myself and talk about it. So that's what it is, what it is. Um, this person was like, well, I don't want to, uh, like, I'm totally fine with you doing whatever you want. So like, basically like an open relationship, right? This person was like, do whatever you want. I just don't want you to have sex with other people. And that's totally understandable for most people. But like I said, I, you don't own me. So I want to do whatever, whatever, whatever I want. And if I choose to have sex with somebody else, like, I want to be able to do that. So, had to cut that off right then and there because that's already too relationshipy for me. Like, I don't want anyone to have a say in my life. Nothing. Zero. I told him at the time, because uh, during this time, you know, I wasn't having sex with anybody else. So, I was like, well, I'm not. Um, and then I, it kind of just kept sticking with me. But he told you he didn't want you to do that. And I was like, yeah, no. Nobody can tell me what I can and cannot do. Absolutely, fucking lutely nobody. So I was like, you know what? I'm not right now. But if I do want to, I'm going to. And so we shouldn't, we shouldn't do this anymore. Always use protection. Be safe, guys. But, um... Yeah. And it's not like, here's another thing. It's not like I'm going around being a slut at the same time, totally allowed to be a slut, but I'm not, you know, I'll make out with people, but I'm not like going around hooking up with everybody, you know, sex wise, all of that. Like I don't do that. And that's my own choice not to do it. Not anybody else telling me that I can't do something, but I just choose not to. Um, but you know, when I want to, I will. So I just don't want anyone to tell me what I can and can't do. And I finally feel comfortable just being myself and saying that I can do whatever I want and saying nobody is allowed to have a say in my life besides myself. And (sighs) yeah, I want to date, but I don't want to date you. I think that's what I'm naming this video because I feel like that's what it's about. It's like I'm I'm totally down to like go out and have fun and hang out with people and kind of go on like fun dates. But then at the end of the day, like I want to go home alone. I want to go home and know that like I'm cuddling myself at night and that I'm comfy in my bed and I'm allowed to spread out all over my bed and roll around and and not have to worry about somebody else on the other side. Like, you you go home into your bed and I'll go to mine. And, and, yeah. Hopefully this video is not too random. I know it was kind of weird because I'm talking about, like, my last relationship. Dating, sex, like, all these different kind of topics. But they all go into this one topic that made me realize that I am trying to live for myself and dating wise, I'm dating myself and I love it and I'm not jealous and, and I'm just super happy with the choices that I've, you know, made and me leaving my last relationship as much as it hurts still, like I know that it was for the better and that we are just completely different people. I am an open book and... I want to be and I wasn't an open book with him. I wasn't super clear with the fact that I am flirty. I'm a flirty person, but that doesn't mean that I'm going to go and hook up with every single person that I meet or if I'm in a relationship, hook up with anybody. Like I am going to do what I want and I guess I wasn't very clear with that. I wasn't being an open book and And I don't know why I wasn't because I'm so normally 100% myself and I love that about myself. I think I was trying to please somebody else because I thought that that's what I needed to do in a relationship. And now I realize like one day when I actually do want to have a relationship, I'm going to be myself. So I'm going to be who I want to be and that person will either accept me and we'll be together or they won't and we won't be together. So... As much as it hurts still, I realized how happy I am with the choices that I made and leaving that relationship was a good 
step in that direction in in just like learning myself again because I used to be totally myself and then I kind of lost it and now I I feel like I'm gaining it back so it was a step in the right direction in that sense and it was also a learning experience being in that relationship and seeing that that isn't a life that I want to live for somebody else I want to live for myself so if you took anything away from this that that that's what it is um I hope you guys like this video I know it's kind of a random video for coming back um this channel is just gonna be my diary because I don't know where to take this channel anymore um if you guys don't already know I started a new Instagram account where I talk all about my um my new workout journey and my new health journey so I am going to be starting a new channel for that and that's where my other channel will be going in that direction but I will link that down below if you guys haven't seen my Instagram already and yeah this channel is this now my my verbal diary so if you guys want to hear more topics like this, like relationship stuff, life events, like it's just going to be me talking about things going on in my life. If you guys like that, hit that red subscribe button, turn on your bell notifications so you're notified when I post a new video and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.